So if you didn't know, Dan has currently been on a health kick. And he went to, he went to, did you go to Vons? He went to Vons to get a half a pound of uh, watermelon. I eat like one of these every day. Really? Because I, I, I'm not drinking, it's, whenever I want something sweet instead of soda, I just buy watermelon. Because it feels like you're eating. Yeah. But you're, and then you're talking shit on it. He's because, like, oh, watermelon doesn't taste like nothing. It doesn't hey. taste like anything for the most part. But these are these American GMO put a bunch of shit in a watermelon, make it taste like they probably add flavoring to this watermelon. To be honest, I think you just never had a good watermelon. Watermelon's Maybe. been good since the day I was born. I had a, always been good. I thought I had one bad one and then just judged them all. Like that's a, why I had that's a bad how one when I was twelve. A thing. <laughs> the reason you don't like watermelon is why racist people are racist. You have one bad experience yeah. and you just typecast the whole group. There's some food for thought. And he was like, oh, you got seeds in it. I said, what happens if you eat the seeds? He says, I said, you, you got a free watermelon on your belly. <laughs> We're out here at Hoods. We're at Hoods, my dudes. Hoods Park, Encinitas. Um, it's about, I don't know, <laughs> light 80s here. It was 100 fucking degrees in Temecula. So I needed to come south to skate today. Trying to get some skating done. Haven't skated in three weeks, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm married. I'm married now. I don't have my ring on because I forgot it at the house. Because it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> she found out you're Australian on the wedding night. <laughs> Why? Because you whipped it out and it was upside down. <laughs> I got a whirly willy. Let's just go. I'm not going to talk about it. All right, right here. He's be not going to talk about it. He's going to be about it. Yeah. I'm gonna start it Green card to Pakey, right here. <laughs> oh he's got that Mary confidence. You see how he just hopped on that feeble? Back to there. When you have a woman that you love, you just start landing shit. <laughs> Not flip tricks though, that's like a single man game. Come on, first try. It's looking good and then it wasn't. Fuck. Oh, crazy. I gave up like halfway. Don't think, just do. working more like I literally am five days at the tattoo shop and because I have to like do so much during the week now and like talk to a lot of people I feel like my anxiety has like dipped like there's no room to be anxious anymore wait really yeah and I feel like that lazy burn that was in my body was like that was actually gone. me inside of you <laughs> yeah I just feel like because I'm like busy all the time now I don't really have time to overthink hmm. so my brain's being used positively so my anxiety's like Interesting. So, yeah. so you're saying there's probably a sweet spot of yeah. putting enough stuff on your plate that yeah. you don't have time to worry about where the next meal is coming Be from. Yeah, because I would bitch about working three days and then just fuck off like for two days at least of my four days off mm. and just do nothing. And then it made me feel lazy. Like today I was like pumped to come here and skate with everybody. Yeah, I, like makes usually, you appreciate it more. Yeah, I would have been like, oh, like I gotta go skate today and get clips and it felt bummy before. Now it feels like I'm like charged. Yeah. I'm happy. Oh, I'm if you're happy, place, let me dude. see this, this tray flow. Okay. Yeah. He says he says his boss his boss is pretty chatty. Yeah, he, and he thinks it down. rubs off on him, and I'm like, that, I never rubbed off on you. <laughs> Not in that way. But I'm the most way. yappy person in the world. Dan's rubbed off on me a different way. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I've more like rubbed off one two yeah. is what I've done. <laughs> this is for fucking backstreet back, right? I liked it. Yuck. It had character, to say the least. Let's you are my See, that was for the Backstreet Blokes. <laughs> Whatever. No, I did back three. What you're going to do is back three. Dan did a back three on the hip. Basically a back four. Yeah. And I'm trying to do a back three now. Back 270. Let's, let's be honest here. First, I'm an American citizen. You come and bite that. Then I start doing back threes over hips. You start doing that. What's next, dude? You got to be a resident. Yeah, American I'm, resident. I'm, I'm excited for you. <laughs> you got that. It helps me a lot to only focus on my front truck and make sure my front truck spins farther. I don't want to slide out. Is it slippery? 
I mean, we're at Poods, you know what it is. Should I, I should try to go for higher, huh? Yeah, I kind of went up it like a Euro. Yeah, okay. Right there. <laughs> I didn't wreck that enough. Just whip that foot around. You're stopping. You're stopping. Push that foot around. That's it. Spin that foot a little faster. Not even faster, just like keep it going. You're stopping it. Like I can see you start to rotate and then you stop it. That was it though. I mean, but yeah, it wasn't what you wanted, but you did do it. I reckon I can do a better one. Yeah, I do too, but that was a good start. Yes. That was it though. <laughs> that was sick. I felt like that was a good one. Yeah, it was. It was a really good one. Dude. I don't know what happened. I kind of blacked out until I was like all the way around. We're, we're back set to six years. And not, I know people are like, oh, no, no, it's Backset 270. No, no, Backset 260 years. Dude, just moved to America, back three. Yeah. <laughs> the number one green flag I look for is a green card, and now he has it. <laughs> oh, shit. Did you just throw up, like, a sign? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do a G. Boo! Green card, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to be a dirt biking. Woo! You got it. My hand hurts. Too much clutching. I'm granny shifting, not double clutching like I should. What? I said my hand hurts. Uh, I'm, I'm granny shifting, not double clutching like I should. I rode Rachel's 110 for a second and I uh, came down a trail and I looked to my left where there was some cactus because I wanted to do a U-turn and I seen a snake. He was, he was all coiled up. I seen his pattern first and then I seen that his head was like coiled back, like ready to, you know, snap, so. I just took off on the 110. Probably wasn't a rattlesnake because it wasn't like a desert brown like the surroundings here. It was more like dark brown and dark green and he didn't rattle at me obviously. So... Are you even a real Australian? What? Catch the fucking thing. <laughs> it's a gopher snake probably. I'm gonna find out once we get home. But the sun's gone down and we're going back to the car now. <laughs> Look. Uh, what up guys it's been a minute since I uploaded over here on this channel uh, I've been busy 80% of my time is at the tattoo shop so I have two days off um, two days should be okay it's summertime anyway mum's been up here with me as well so I'm glad she's here had a fun session at Poods it was good it's fun to be out on my skateboard I fell asleep that night being like damn I really love skateboarding skateboarding so much fun enjoying skateboarding more because I'm getting to do it less, if that makes sense. Head on over to eveningmob.com, there's a sale on. There's been a sale going on, go and pick something up. I'm trying to move some older stuff before I order. Green print some new stuff, so go and check out eveningmob.com. Hope you guys appreciate the upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger, man, bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this trigger, man, stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up.